Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you a full face of a ton of Charlotte Tilbury products while telling you guys what I love and what I don't love so much from the brand. I'm going to be honest with you, there's definitely a lot more that I love than what I don't, but this is a collaboration with three other amazing friends of mine. I was going to say YouTubers, but these are friends of mine. First off, we have the beautifully sweet glam girl, Chelsea. Then we have Mary, also known as Glitzy Fritzy. She is my mama here on YouTube. She is such a dear friend of mine. And then you guys already know, you already know what's coming. My best friend, Kelsey Brianna Bay. It's really Jay, but she is Bay. Each of us will be doing a full face tutorial with as much Charlotte as we possibly can and talking about the things that we love and don't love from the brand. And I highly, highly suggest that you check them out because I know that you will regret it if you don't. But if you would like to see how I created this look, what products I used and what products that I do and do not enjoy, just keep watching. First things first, obviously you can see my brows are already done, eyes are already primed, and I did my forehead just because it's easier for me and the whole hair situation that I have going on. But now let's move on to the rest of the face. And I'm gonna start off with a product I'm not actually gonna use, but I'm going to tell you why I'm not going to use it. And it's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter. I think this is really pretty. I love the way it looks on the skin and I think I need to try it out a little bit more but the foundation that I'm going to use today it would be just a little bit too luminous for my skin type. I am combo. This gives a really beautiful radiant finish. You can mix it in with your foundations. You can use it alone. You can use it as a light highlight on top of foundation but for whatever reason whenever I use this under foundation it looks really pretty but it doesn't, my makeup doesn't last as long. And given the foundation that I'm going to use, <laughs> it's really not going to last long. So let me tell you which foundation I'm going to use today. I'm going to be going in with the Light Wonder, and I have the shade number four. And I like this, this is a really lightweight foundation. It's very, very light coverage. And I really like this. A foundation that I do not love from Charlotte though, unfortunately, it's a beautiful foundation. It lasts long on my skin, but it doesn't work for my pores for whatever reason, no matter what I do, no matter what powder I use, no matter what primer, something weird happens with my pores. And it's the new Airbrush Flawless Longwear Foundation. I recently decluttered that one. So we're going in with this one, but because this one doesn't have a lot of coverage, I'm gonna go in with something else that I really love from the brand. The Magic Color Corrector, and I have the shade number two medium. See if I can get it open, there we go. This is my favorite color corrector I have ever used. Pick up a little bit of this. I'm gonna pop it right here. I'm just pressing this into the skin and blending. And then I'm also going to take it where I have a little bit of sun damage, as well as my top lip. Sometimes my top lip just looks dark. Anybody else? Is that just me? Now I'm going to shake up my Light Wonder before I apply it to my dish. Sonia Kashuk sponge and I'm just going to work this all over. I think this does a really nice job of just evening out the skin tone in a very natural way. And I like the finish of it. It's kind of luminous. It's really pretty. For concealer, I'm going to go in with the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. Again, shade number four. I love this stuff. I've already gone through one of these. And I said I was not going to repurchase because you do not get a lot of product in here. That's the one bad thing about it. How much are you getting in it? Where is it? You're getting four mils four mils of product. You're paying quite a bit for four mils, but I love the consistency of this. I love the coverage of it. It's like it stretches. It's 
I don't know. There's just something really, really lovely about this. However, I do prefer my Giorgio Armani. So I decided not to repurchase this at the time, but again, <laughs> video. So I was like, Hey, I'm going to go ahead and grab another one. And I will go through this. This is one of my favorite concealers that I've ever tried, but it, again, it just doesn't beat my Giorgio Armani. And a tip for the applicator, because this can get extremely messy, I would suggest going in with it before you ever even click it to see if there's any excess product on the tip and then very slowly click it up. Don't do too many because you will have stuff coming out. You'll have wasted product and you don't wanna do that. Blend that into the skin. I know that it's a cult favorite and it's something that I recommend. If you watched my last uh, favorite powders for different skin types, I will leave that linked down below. But the airbrush powder it has cornstarch in it. Just about all of Charlotte's powders have cornstarch in it, which break me out. Otherwise, I would be using them all the time because I think that they are beautiful. I don't have the compact, but I do have this little beauty right here, which I think this was a part of the... Nordstrom Anniversary. It is called the Glowing Pretty Skin Palette and there is a powder in here. So I'm gonna grab that and I'm going to set underneath my eyes. This powder is darker than my concealer, but it's okay, it's all gonna come together in the end anyway. And it's actually going to help cover up any darkness I have underneath my eyes and that sun damage. <laughs> so it works out. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with ah, this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful powder. Again, this is in my recent video, and this is called the Magic Powder. It's a loose powder. I think this is so pretty. It does have a little bit of a smell to it, but it's an ingredient that's actually good for your skin, it, but it, it doesn't smell very good. <laughs> the shade that I have is number one, Fair. And I'm using my La Mer, <laughs> La Mer powder brush to just press this into the skin. I love the radiant finish of this powder. I just think it's so pretty. I'll also use this later on to buff with. But again, this does contain cornstarch. This is a video where I'm going to have to go immediately wash my face after I film. I'm gonna move on to my eyes before I finish the rest of my face. I pulled out a few of my favorite things. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of layering here, but I was trying to think of something that I don't like palette-wise or something from Charlotte Tilbury, and I couldn't think of one off the top of my head. I'm sure there is something, but I can't think of it at the moment. So anywho, I am definitely going to be going in with the Eyes to Mesmerize. I have the shade Rose Gold. My Pillow Talk <laughs> palette. This one right here as well as the Pillow Talk Instant Eye palette. I don't know if I'll dip into this one, but I might. So I'm just going to layer those as well as using the Pillow Talk liner. I'm going to zoom you guys in and I don't even know what I'm going to do yet, but we're going to do something very Pillow Talky. <laughs> Refer number one in the matte pink from the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette. I'm going to start off by taking this into my crease. Buffing it upwards. I'm taking that same color on a refer 14 and just buffing it underneath the eyes. Refer number one again, I'm gonna grab this shade from the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette, deepening up the outer corner, as well as bringing it into the crease and upward to smoke it out a little bit.
again, same shade on our refer number three, taking that just a little closer to the lower lash line. MAC 242, first shade in the same palette, highlighting the brow arch. Wayne Goss 26S Eyes to Mesmerize in Rose Gold. I'm going to apply this to the lid, kind of buffing all over. Use some tapping motions. Refer 14, going in with the dark brown. I'm going to start stamping this on the outer corner and then buffing it in and upward. Bring it into the crease a little bit. Pillow Talk Liner. I'm just taking this right along the lash line. I'm also going to take that right up against the lower lash line. And then smudge it out with my refer 03. Refer 13, going back in with this shade. And I am just going to buff right over where Pillow Talk Liner is. Going back in with the quad, I'm going to take the celestial shade on my ring finger. And I am going to start tapping this all over the lid. Sonia G Flat Definer, and I'm going to go in with this shade in the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette, popping this right on the inner corner, and then I am going to go add on Milk Boss Liner to my top inner rim, and of course, mascara. Eyes are done. As I mentioned, I used Milk Boss Liner on the top inner rim and mascara, but I also put on a Milk Boss Liner on my lower waterline. I wanted it to be just a little bit more smoky and sultry. I absolutely adore the Pillow Talk liner. However, I don't have anything other than that when it comes to eyeliners from Charlotte Tilbury. So I wanted to add in that black and I just, I'm feeling this eye look if I do say so myself. But now let's go ahead and finish off the rest of the face. I contemplated using the Filmstar Bronze and Glow, but I mean, that's an amazing product. Don't get me wrong. But it does have cornstarch in it, and I know I've, I've already got cornstarch all over my face. <laughs> but this bad boy right here, this is something that I recently reviewed, and I'm obsessed with this. It is the Airbrush Bronzer, and I really thought that this was going to have cornstarch in it as well because it's based off of the powder, but luckily for me, it does not. So I'm gonna go in with this, and this thing blends like a dream. The shade that I'm using is number two, medium. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna use my BOM 34 from Royal Inlaying Nickel. And I am just gonna start applying this just does not, it doesn't leave lines or anything. It's so seamless. It's buildable. It's the perfect color in my opinion. I just love it so, so much. When I got this, it was instantly like, hmm, do I need any other bronzers in my life? <laughs> of course I do, because I need choices. I like to have choices. But this one definitely gives bronzers that I have in my collection a run for their money. I am going to take this on my nose as well. As soon as I was done with the eye tutorial, it started storming. It sounds like it is hailing outside. These storms have been so intense. I think I've said that in the video before, but I'm repeating it because the storms keep repeating. I'm gonna take a little bit of this right underneath my lip. 
I pulled out two blushes to choose from. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use yet. I have First Love, this shade right here. I just can't get over the design of this. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know what I am thinking. And then I also have Love is the Drug. Ooh, I don't know. This one's obviously going to be more natural. And this is going to be a little bit more, I kind of want to mix them. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to start off with this one and add a little bit of this if I feel necessary. I'm going to use my classic cheek from Sonia G. You're supposed to swish and pop, but I just swish and put them all together. <laughs> I'm too lazy for anything else. Oh, that's so pretty. And again, her products, her powder products just blend like a dream. That's why it, it kind of sucks about, well, not even kind of, it really does suck about the cornstarch because her products are amazing. Her color choices are amazing. And I want to be able to use everything all the time and I can't. I feel like I just go on and on and on and on and on about cornstarch. So I'm sorry if you're tired of hearing about it. This is super natural, super pretty, but I am going to add in just a little bit of this one. And you can see this one's much brighter. I'm going to bring it a little further back. I'm going to take my powder brush and just go right around. I'm going to go right around the edges. For highlights, I could go in with just one product or I could layer like I have been with everything else on my face. So we're gonna do that with a highlight as well. I'm gonna start off with this bad boy. This is the Pillow Talk, of course, everything Pillow Talk, Beauty Light Wand. And instead of going in with a sponge or anything like that, I'm actually gonna take this. You twist it to unlock and then squeeze a little bit. I'm going to put some on my hand, like so, probably way too much. Turn it back off. Sonia G Mini Cheek. I'm telling you, this brush is the reason why I have been enjoying more highlighting products that are cream or like cream to powder. This brush has changed the game for me, but I am going to tap this on. Oh, so stinking pretty. You really don't need anything else. You really don't. <laughs> but I'm going to because more is more. Sometimes. Sometimes. This is the first time I'm using this color. I have other shades of this, but I just picked up this one. And then I'm going to go in with the bar of gold palette. I feel like I'm just repeating myself like I love this and I love this, but I, I do. I really, really do. This is such a beautiful palette and there are shades that will fit just about anybody in this palette. It's so versatile. I am going to go in with the pink shade, the middle one, to complement the pillow talk that I have on already. So I'm going to take that. This is my Anastasia A23 and I am just going to go right on top of that and you can see we just got a whole lot brighter. Don't worry, I am going to tone this down. Lightest shade in the palette, same brush, I just kind of wiped it off. I'm going to put a little bit of that on my forehead, chin, nose. And then I'm switching to a Linda Hallberg 306. Again, same shade. I just want a smaller brush because I'm going to pinpoint that <laughs> Ooh, highlight right at the top, very tip top of my cheekbone. I'm also going to take that right at my brow arch with my MAC 242 because why not? And then I'm going to go back in with the Magic Powder, Sonia G Master Face. And I am going to buff around the edges and soften things right back up but the highlight will still peek through. I'm taking a smaller brush, the refer number four, and a little bit of that powder just to go up right around the highlight up top because that other brush is a little too big. Finishing off with the lips, I'm going to go in with the lip cheat in Hello Talk. Now, I really like these liners. The thing is with them that 
I personally don't find too many shades that I really, really love. I think I only have like three or four of them. It's just that I'm really particular about the colors for my lips. I like lighter nudes than what she has. Like I have Iconic Nude and then I have Pillow Talk, but I want something that's kind of in between. So that's my biggest gripe is that I feel like the shade range could be expanded, especially with the nudes. But that's just my own personal opinion. I'm sure a lot of people disagree with that. But I just, I want some more options when it comes to the nudes. So I'm going to go in with Pillow Talk first, outline, and fill in my lips. To top that off, I'm going to go in with Bitch Perfect. And then to top that off, Ibiza Nights Gloss. I hope you enjoyed this very layered look. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Also, make sure you check out the amazing women in this collaboration. I love them to death, and I know that you guys will too. I have them linked down below, so tell them that I said hello. No, I didn't mean for that to rhyme. <laughs> Anywho, bye you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.